Hi, I'm Kate and I'm here with Urs Stierker, a textile artist who's worked on hit shows like The Handmaid's Tale and Star Trek Discovery. Both shows I'm a huge fan of, by the way. Now, when we think about the entertainment industry, we don't often think about sustainability. Uh, maybe we even think about something totally the opposite. But you're thinking about changing this. Uh, how is it that you got interested in sustainable costume making? I worked for quite many years uh, as a textile artist and costume maker in theatre and in film and I used a lot of toxic materials which create beautiful surfaces but uh, are not very well for the people working with them or for the environment. And uh, coming here to Alta University, I was introduced to new cellulose materials which uh, are bio-based and it's great to work with them. So when you're talking about cellulose, you're really talking about wood, right? Yeah, it is wood-based cellulose which is ground down in tiny, tiny bits and can be used in very different uh, ways. And I used it uh, to create structural colors. So tell me about this structural color method. What effect does that give? The material creates a crystal-like structure which reflects light uh, iridescent. There are a lot of structural colors in nature if you think about butterflies or beetles. Okay. And this is a similar idea. You're actually looking at wood that reflects light without any kind of dye or any kind of thing put on top of it. It's from the wood itself. This is correct. So it's like a magic trick. It is a magic trick and uh, I love it. Yeah, amazing. Uh, one end product of this amazing work that you've been doing is actually this beautiful costume that I could see on basically any set in my mind's eye. Uh, I wanted to create a sci-fi inspired costume using upcycled cotton, old bed sheets, uh, dyed it with natural dyes, and uh, then use the beautiful structural colors to create basically an armor. I used uh, 3D scans of uh, different structures I found in nature and then it was carved out of wood. Then I used carbonizing methods, which is basically burning the wood, and then I applied uh, the structural color on it. Yeah, and the structural color is what gives it its beautiful uh, surface shine. And that's correct, yes. So on top of working with wood, you're actually working with bacteria as well. And that's a bit funny because like these days, we don't think about bacteria as necessarily being our friend. But in fact, you found it can be. Yeah, this is a bacteria which creates bluish color. And the nice thing about this bluish color that the element is based on indigo, on an indigo element, which is also used uh, basically to color your genes. But the great thing about the bacteria is that it doesn't need the chemicals to develop uh, this kind of dye. Is it so that we can see the, the bacteria growth on, on the fabric? Yeah, exactly. It's the whole pattern you see is like a map of where the bacteria decided to go and uh, develop this color. It's really their story. Yeah, it's their story we're holding in our hands. Yeah. Too. The entertainment industry has recently taken some really big symbolic steps uh, towards sustainability, which is great. Uh, the BAFTAs have gone carbon neutral. The Oscars had a mainly vegan menu. But what would a, like, a real in-practice shift towards sustainable costume design mean for the industry? I think once uh, one concrete step I uh, would like to do is to work with a production uh, on implementing uh, these materials, but then at the same time to see also how the materials behaved. And a, a film set, TV set, that's a great place to try out uh, and get immediate feedback on how these new designs go. Yeah, costume design is basically made for this kind of research because the time from making the costume to that an actor is wearing it, the costume department is cleaning the, the material again and uh, the shoot. So there is a lot of data which will come back to the researchers immediately. It's a trial world, basically. It's a trial world. Yeah, it's yeah. a wild trial for new materials, uh, the costume, uh, costume design. Well, thank you so much. and. See you next time. Trekkie's here. <laughs> Trekkie's here. <laughs>